Good morning. I've been away, of, away for a while. I have been in a hospital and then it was school holidays and um, yeah, it is, um, I got into trouble because he wanted to be on his laptop. We are sharing a laptop. But in any case, if you hear a beeping sound in the background, we are on stage six load shedding. And um, the electricity just went off 20 minutes ago, so the UPS kicked in. So, uh, yeah, sorry for that. But what I want to talk about still is on parental hurt. And um, I think I shared this before that the previous generation had a lot of kids. And those kids suffered because there were so many kids. I mean, there's a saying that um, the middle child syndrome. But I think every, every child, whether it's the oldest or the youngest, there's trauma. It, it doesn't matter. There's neglect. And the thing is, it is because of what our parents went through. And if they don't serve God, and they don't go and sit at, at God's feet and ask God how to bring up this child, they are going to make the same mistakes as the previous generation and the generation before them. Now my mother is the fourth of six daughters. And my grandfather worked and my grandmother had to run the farm and six girls. It's not an easy feat. I mean, some of us have problems bringing up two children. Can you think six daughters? I mean, six sons. I had a stepfather. They were 18 kids from two different wives. I mean, that's a lot of kids for one woman to handle. The previous wife, the first wife died, so he married again and then had children with her. And it's my children, your children, our children and his children. And I think the second wife came with two kids yeah, I can't, I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. But in any case, 18. They were 18. I mean, his oldest brother, I think, was as old as my grandmother. So, mm, that, that says a lot, man. But, yeah, you know, so, you have to really go and sit and say, you know what, Lord, I'm hurting from this, but I need to understand where my parents came from for me to get this healing, for me to move forward. It is your responsibility now to get the healing. Go to God, sit at His feet, because He says, you are my child. When your mother and your father is forsaken you, I will adopt you. You are mine. You belong to God, not to yourself. If you can get rid of all your emotional hurt, of all your parental trauma, you know how much better your life will be. You know how much lighter you feel on the inside. You know, as soon as the Holy Spirit revealed this to me, and I came to God and I said, You know what, Lord? I realize that this is my problem. This is the reason why. I'm having all of this. And I laid it at his feet and I cried my eyes out. I feel so much better. There's still a few things I need to deal with. There's a lot of things I still need to deal with. I haven't dealt with everything. But just the fact that I can come and sit and say, Lord, here I am. Heal me from that so I can see you as the father you want for me the father you want to be for me and not what I assume you are God is the perfect father we never had that 